I love being in this environment of beauty and nature. Here, I do what I can to nullify a lifetime of mistaken beliefs preached by misguided adults. I see for myself. I think for myself. I create my own belief system. And I take the liberty of rambling about life and living. Today, I see beauty. It is times like this that I contemplate what I call my microdachism. Today I'm thinking about microdachism rule number three. Develop friendships in a sincere and personal way, but never forget that to others, that is to some others, you're merely an asset or a liability. The friendship may well be based on their needs and not yours. Lower your expectation of others and you will not be disappointed. It's cultural. How many times during the day do you think negative thoughts about yourself because you were programmed to think such thoughts? It's cultural. How often do you change your looks to please others? It's cultural. Are you happy with being you? Why not? Why not? Because it's cultural. It is cultural until you recognize that it'll never change. You're brought up to believe that some people are servants, slaves, and then we have the masters. This slave-master relationship is a daily occurrence. I walk my street and I pick up the trash in front of my house. I do it because I want to do it. I should not have to do it. But then some drivers are brought up to throw trash out of their car windows as they drive through my neighborhood. It's their culture to litter. One has a tendency to judge another by simply hearing the name of the other. It's cultural. The person with many college degrees who cannot converse in the English language is not respected, no matter how many degrees he or she may have. In the corporate environment they are hired, it's the law, but there are always ways to get around people like that for the sake of functionality. Don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Well, it's cultural. Lots of so-called advice will go through your mind, but all are useless until you claim these gems as your own. You've heard them all before. Know yourself. Be true to yourself. Recognize regrets, but since you cannot erase them, move on. Trust yourself because based on your knowledge, experience, and intuition at the time, your decision will always be correct. That's right. Your decision will always be the correct decision for you at that time. It's called confidence. It's cultural. You're not a robot. You're a human being. Think for yourself. Pursue your sole purpose of life, which is to be happy. Not sometime in the future or in the year after, but today. Be happy today. Right here, right now. That may not be cultural, but it is you and it is natural. Think for yourself.